Hi folk, my name is Aslam. I have been working on FPGA based system for more than three years. I plan to explain the Zinc 7000 architecture in detail. So before diving into this architecture, I would prefer to give answers of two questions. The first question, why I have selected this topic. The second question, what this architecture is. So, okay, again, uh, before giving answers of these two questions, I would prefer to introduce you some terminology that I will use during the lectures. So, the first terminology is embedded system. What is in an embedded system? What is an embedded system? So, an embedded system has uh, basically a processor a memory unit and IOS input and outputs. Processor is the unit that control the entire embedded system and memory units are basically used to hold the data or instructions and IOS are employed to interact with the external world. So there are many examples of embedded system around us like electric machine, like fridge. So the next terminology is hybrid hardware architecture. So what happens sometimes processor, single processor is not enough to meet all the requirements. So what we do, we try to integrate some other units with a processor. So uh, a kind of hardware architecture in which a processor system is integrated with some other uh, devices like FPGA are ASIC is called hybrid hardware architecture so <clears throat> the next so what is a FPG what an FPGA is I will explain it after a while so the next terminology is SOC a system on chip system on chip is a kind of chip is a single chip on which many electronic components are integrated this component can be analog, digital, or mixed signals. So the, the last terminology is AAP, all programmable SOC. So this is a special type of SOC in which all the electronic components are programmable. So we can explain this terminology, terminologies with a diagram for example, we have CPU, FPGA and IOs, they are connected with each other. That kind of architecture is called hybrid hardware architecture. If these components are integrated on a single chip, that kind of chip is called SOC. And if all these three components are programmable, then this SOC is called APSOC and APSOC a Zinc 7000 architecture is an example of APSOC I think I have given an answers I have given answers of both questions that what is Zinc 7000 architecture is this is APSOC so the second question why I have selected this architecture so this is a basically answer of the question okay <coughs> So the okay so what an FPGA and how an FPGA works FPGA is field programmable gate array so basically this is very very basic diagram of an FPGA uh, FPGA has basic of course uh, it has many other components but for the sake of simplicity simplicity I have just draw I have drawn very basic components of an FPGA these components are always a part of an FPGA so FPGA has basically three components CLB configurable logic block these are routing channels and third one is IO IO banks CLBs any kind of logic in FPGA can be implemented by exploiting CLBs CLBs are connected with each other by using these wires these wires are called routing channels and by making a communication 
we can develop any kind of any complex algorithm we can implement any complex function algorithm you know by using this FPGA so of course <coughs> uh, these IO banks are used to interact uh, to make a communication channel between external world and CLBs so again let's go further into FPGA components so if we go further into CLB so CLB has basically slices slices con constitute uh, slices makes CLBs uh, more than one slices makes a CLB if we again go into the CL slices a slice has loot and flip-flop so flip-flop are memory unit and loot is basically the main thing a main unit on which an FPGA works so <clears throat> lookup table any kind of logic any kind of logic can in an FPGA is implemented by using LUTs. So, what is a LUT? So, LUT is basically and is a RAM. So, in order to demonstrate uh, and to make your life easy, I have uh, I have an example here. For example, we have LUT two, in which we have two input and one output. So, for example, uh, we can implement uh, any kind of gate by using this LUT. Uh, for example I have OR gate this is an OR gate and this according to the input we have outputs so, and these inputs are address of LUT and outputs are stored in the LUT because I already mentioned before that LUT LUTs are basically RAM so according to the index according to the addresses the output will be selected and goes to the output uh, in that way we can implement OR gate AND gate and any kind of gate so by this is just a very simple example uh, we have loot 5 loot 6 but so and these loot 5 6 and many loots are you know they in they uh, communicate with each other to build a complex system so I think you have a basic idea of what and how an FPGA works now so <clears throat> Yeah, we know so uh, as I mentioned in the first slide I plan to explain the Zinc 7000 architecture so I've I'm just trying to give a very very basic diagram of this architecture so basically Zinc 7000 architecture is based on APSOC so APSOC has two main component PS processor system and PL programmable logic so PL is basically an FPGA and PS has processor APU it has a processor uh, application processor unit it interact with IO peripheral so IO peripheral can be of many types I will explain them in the next lecture uh, so they can interact with, with IO peripherals and IO peripherals can interact with the external world by by using multiplexed IOs so so this is basically three components of uh, PS in the same way PS can communicate with the PL by using two uh, ports one is HP high processing port another one is GP general port if processor want to have a high data rate communication with the PL then it will employ HP port if it if uh, if it need a uh, low data rate communication then it will use GP general port uh, in general GP is used to configure the IPs and HP is used for data processing in the same way the IO peripherals can be directly goes to the external world but it can go through an PL by using EMI EMIO extended multiplexed IOs I will explain all these components in detail in the next lecture so these are configurable uh, IOs you know input and outputs that you can use so so I have 
divided my my lectures into three parts in the first part I will explain all the peripheral interface this peripheral interface this can be UART any kind of peripherals will be demonstrated here UART USB Ethernet you know uh, SPI I square C so then in the next part I will explain AXI interfaces uh, we have seen here HP and GP ports so these ports are communicated with the PL by using AXI interfaces these are of different kinds like, like AXI Lite, AXI4, AXI Stream all these things will be demonstrated and implemented the third one in the third part I will explain some advanced features of Zinc 7000 architecture like performance measurements of DMA on chip memory DDR RAM of course there are a RAM part so there is a memory part here for simplicity I have not sh uh, shown this part here uh, I will give a performance measurements of these parts like uh, how much time a DMA takes to transfer X amount of data in the same way how much time OCM takes to write and read X amount of data and in the same way DDR so by having the measurements you can implement any kind of system in a deterministic way okay in the le next lecture uh, as I explained a very very basic architecture of APSOC Zinc 7000 architecture in the next next lecture I will give a detailed diagram diagram in which I will have all the IO peripherals I will have all AXI interfaces uh, I will have memory units and I will have interrupts how many how many interrupts in uh, AP socks I will explain them what is EMIO what is MIO I will again explain and uh, explain them in the next lecture furthermore uh, furthermore uh, sorry furthermore uh, I will use that board uh, this is an evaluation board based on Zinc 7000 architecture uh, it will be used throughout uh, the lectures uh, this is that is all for this lecture uh, see you in the next lecture but for that please don't forget to subscribe and share my channel because sharing is caring take care